Welcome to another episode of the Strength of Purpose podcast. I am your co-host, Josh Jewett from Strength of Purpose. And I'm your co-host, Dr. Phil Finnamore, owner of WorkFitMe Mobile Concierge Physical Therapy. The goal of our podcast is to help busy main professionals find the mental, emotional, and physical strength that is absolutely necessary for them to achieve and strengthen their true purpose in life. We have a passion for sharing our true purpose with others. Join us as we discuss holistic health and wellness tips with our friends, colleagues, and even heroes and mentors to help you strengthen your true purpose in life. Well, Phil, how are you doing today? I am doing well, Josh. Very excited. We've got another interview today. This is our second ever interview, which is yes. which is super exciting. Kelly this was our first interview last week, Kelly Flagg, and went really well. It was a lot of fun to do, so I'm really excited to jump into the next one. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, and today we have Karen Poulin Anderson, who um, I get to uh, have the pleasure of training and talking <laughs> to on a regular basis. She's Hard a fantastic lady. Absolute um, awesome. She is the, um, she is a, uh, uh, excuse me, medical assistant for uh, main medical oncology, thoracic oncology. And she also runs a page on Facebook um, called Team Find a Reason. Uh, Karen, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank welcome you for to, having well, me. Yeah, welcome to the podcast. Yeah, that's cool. Love it. I'm glad you could be here. Um, so why don't you uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, and then we can kind of go in and talk about uh, to how uh, your Facebook page or your Facebook group, Team Find a Reason, has kind of exploded recently. Okay. Well. Um, I'm a mom. I am a full-time worker. Um, I have grandchildren. I'm busy, busy, busy. Um, I work in thoracic oncology and how Team Find a Reason came about. It's not a new concept. Um, I used to be a brand ambassador for Flex Your Face. And even though that page has kind of laid dormant for the past three years, yep. I'm still an ambassador for the message, which is Find Your Reason. Um, Perfect. And I think in all the, the chaos of the past year and a half with COVID and political division and mm. um, yeah. the racial issues that were happening, I think I just got to a place where I just had enough and I was feeling mm. mentally, physically drained and yep. tired of toxicity. And I wanted to... Yes change it up and I had actually got in touch with Ryan who did flex face and I was like you know this is a perfect time to get back into this mm, and yeah. he had done it for three years and he kind of was over it and was on to other things and I'm like well I guess I'll have to do it for myself <laughs> so, yeah, yeah um I toyed around with the idea and on January 1st I think I was going to launch it on January 1st but I something happened and I didn't and on um, the second I launched it and I thought if I could get like three of my friends or four of my friends to do this mm. yeah, that's what I need and I did it strictly for myself like it was a totally selfish reason I needed to like feel better and okay. um, yeah yeah and I think you know when you you talk about um COVID and just being the isolation itself yeah and not, mm family and friends and we went through holidays without our families and yeah um and I work in thoracic oncology which is lungs <laughs> so right. kind of like, you know we were furloughed for a while and then we were screening people and it was just I needed something to uplift something I need to change something yeah sure and, oh my battery is going low um so I I just I launched the page in hopes to like get at least a couple people and within a couple days I think I was a hundred and something yeah wow. yeah I mean it went fast and so yeah that was like a validation for me that it's just not me that needs this no that there are a lot of people out there that just need something to hold on to and get through yeah because um, I mean let's face it our normal is not normal anymore no. not the yeah. normal we know and if you have kids like my kids are grown up but I have grandchildren that sure. are young and I look at them and they're, they're not growing up in the same world that we grew up in no very right. very different and I because I work in the medical field I 
I kind of know it's not going to be different for a while. <laughs> I mean, that's right. just, sure. The way it's gonna be. Um, and so I started with um, just posting like little quotes and stuff. And I'm like, people were messaging me saying, this is what I needed. This is so, you know, thank you so much. Mm. And then as days went by, I just got more and more people. And I think yeah. we're up to 421 today. I was going to say you're, you're, you're up over 400, which is, uh, which is amazing. So yeah. <laughs> congratulations. Really, That's awesome. I asked, like, I think we were at 399 and we needed one more person for 400. Right. And I'm like, okay, guys, can we do it? Just one person. Because yeah. it takes everyone on the page to grow the page. Sure. Right. I mean, you, you have pages. You know what that's that's like. Of course. Um, and you depend on people sharing and, and engaging and mm. inviting people. Yeah. And I asked, and within like a minute, I had five more people. I mean, it's that's crazy. Fantastic. Yeah. That's it's awesome. Well, you but know, I've the... done this before. You know, when I did it for Flex Your Face, I, I, I know how powerful setting your daily intention can be. I know mm. how powerful looking for the positive and, and yes, and seeing it can be Definitely. and how much it can change your life and the people around you even. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's like, it's kind of like a smile. A smile's contagious. Yeah. So when you look for the positive in something and you recognize it, that feeds that like, um, how, how can I say this? It's just like, it extends out to people. Yeah. yeah. And it just grows. Yeah. It's it like does. when you, it's like when we see a, a rainbow, I have to tell my kids about it, you know, cause it's cool. You know, it's like, it, it'll draw us together. Everybody likes to look at that type of thing. So it's, yeah. it's kind of like, it's, it's just, it's contagious. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome love, love and positivity, love and positivity is, is, is incredibly contagious. And I, 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 I think this kind of speaks to your, your character, Karen, and, and you as a, as a, as a healthcare worker, you know, you said you started it for selfish reasons, but the whole reason you started it was to spread positivity to other people. Right. And, uh, uh, you know, that I, I, it just, yeah. that resonates with me because I I'm, I'm the same way. Like I, I would have re responded the same way that you did right. to, to that. Like I'm kind of starting this for me, but, but the whole idea is to help other people and, yeah. and, and, and helping other people and spreading that positivity and that message makes makes you feel good but makes other people feel even better, better. and excited to share that and i yep. think that's why it's not a surprise to me that your page which is uh, wonderful to to spend some time on especially if you're having Thank a tough you. day um right. is 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 growing so so quickly well we do i started um doing a random act kindness friday because mm. i wanted to like i just want people to practice it's a, it's a practice yep yeah we by nature are just so uh, keyed into looking at the negative mm -hmm. and or judging or it's just how we're made i mean it's just it's just the reality that is and and to to look for the positivity or to be positive it's it's an actual practice i mean you have mm. to practice it every day i am not positive <laughs> <laughs> I was telling Josh yesterday, I had a thousand reasons why I wasn't going to come work out. <laughs> right. Sure. And right. You know, you just, sometimes you just have to dig a little deep. And when you look at, you know, there's 24 hours in a day. So that's what, 80, 86,400 seconds in a day. It's mm, a lot of seconds. You can find one. You can yeah. find one little segment of time. Yeah. that is positive even if mm. it's like i mean ryan used to say even if you um wake up and just celebrate that you have air in your lungs yep. if that's yeah. all you can do that day then celebrate it yeah if someone opens a door for you i mean let's face it in today's time that's that's not a given oh Boy, you know, no it's not it's not raised the same that they used to be raised you it's very seldom you find someone that will open the door for you yep. i had that's one land in my face I had one slammed on my face Friday. Oh, Looked wow. right at me and let the door close. And I went, really, bro? <laughs> like, come That's on, man. Say, I have a nice day. And you smile at them. <laughs> I did, too. I just laughed and shook my head like, that, oh, my God. That guy needs to go to team find a reason. He needs to go. <laughs> he does. He does. <laughs> so I, I started the random acts of kindness because I wanted it to, I wanted people to practice. Like, yeah. Just practice these little things. And it doesn't have to be big. Right. It can be something really, really small. 
And I do something at work on Fridays that I've been doing since I decided to do this. And it has come back twofold. It, it's yeah. insane. I will go and I'll say how to, I'm not going to say what I'm doing because it's <laughs> right. It's It'll get, I know, but um, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you go and you, um, I go and I check in. I'm like, so how's it going? And they're like, oh, well, you know, they did the same thing or they paid it forward. Yeah. Mm. And so I do it every week. Yep. And this week I'm going to make little cards that they can hand out when they do it. Oh, cool. But, yeah, that's fantastic. And yep. just kind of, I just keep trying to build on it. But then I, I had lost my badge and I, um, I couldn't pay for my lunch. And it took a day for me to work that out. And I went back to the calf to pay for my lunch. And she's like, oh, it's already taken care of. Uh, like somebody had paid my lunch. And it yeah. it works. I mean, it just, yep. you start small and you build and you, and it, I see it as um, I'm setting an example. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. And, and, and you're, able, you're able to measure that at, at your at your workplace. But I would almost guarantee, you know what, I, I'll, I'll go out on a limb. I will guarantee that those people that are participating in your, in your workplace with the sort of the pay it forward message, however, however that's happening, yeah. it's, it's spilling out into other areas of the surrounding community, even beyond your, your Facebook page. I would, I would guarantee yeah. it. Yeah, it's contagious. Oh, 100 hundred percent contagious. Looks like we have a, a little bit of technical difficulty, but that's okay. Josh and I can can uh, hopefully she can hop back on the the, yeah, the we'll zoom link here. On. We'll get her back on. <laughs> but um, you know, I think that this is kind of a a theme we've got going here here, Josh. The definitely the the mindset um, and and the fact that that mindset is a practice. We talked about that with Kelly last week right how Huge. how all of these all of these things are are things we have to take a little inventory of what yeah. needs to what needs to change and yep. we, we also need to change a little bit about how we think about some of those things sure right and then once we have that information and we we've we fixed how we how we think about it then we can start practicing it in yeah in our in our in our day day to day life because just changing our mindset one it's not going to happen overnight and and two it's not that easy it's not no. that easy to just say or or think that way and have it happen no i think you have to nurture it you know mm. it's just like a garden you got to water it you have to feed it fertilize it um, right. it's, it's the same type of thing, but at the same time, you can look at a garden, it will spread. Mm. Like if, if, if people in your immediate circle see your positivity and they see your mindset, they might want to take a little bit of that with them too. Don't you think? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I, I think so. And I think that's why what, what Karen <clears throat> is doing on her Facebook group is, is incredible because yeah. it, it Number one, social media is so incredibly negative nowadays. Nowadays, oh, so any, anyways, yeah. And if people can have a, a positivity space in that negative of a of a space, right? It's bound to spread like like wildfire. Yeah, um, absolutely bound to spread like wildfire. Let's do this because I, I definitely want Karen to get back in on this conversation. Oh, here she is. Perfect. Yeah, she Perfect. said she'd be right back in. All right, I got her. Perfect. Awesome. Good. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> I'm glad you're back here. <laughs> That's okay. We, uh, we were, so Josh and I were just talking about, uh, again, the, the, the fact that this is a practice, right? That's kind of what you were talking about. And with some of the, with the guests we had on, on, on last week and uh, spoiler, the guests we're going to have on next week, <laughs> our friend Sandy was Nikki. Uh, we, we've talked a lot about, new shifts and changes in your life, no matter what area of life that is having to be a, a practice, but doing that within a community, like what you've built is I think makes that practice that much easier when there's encouragement going on. Yeah. No. And I've gotten like so many messages, like I get messages every day 
Mm, and people awesome. like, you know, thank you so much. I'm like, thank the members because they're the ones that are, they're putting out the content. I mean, I, I start it by putting out something in the morning mm -hmm. and then I just kind of let it go. And I actually get just as much feedback outside the group as I do in the group. Like it's as far as, you know, people will post, but there are some people that just don't want to do Facebook. They sure. watch it. And yeah. I, I had one woman who's like, well, you know, I just don't really do Facebook. And I, I, it's not like, I love your page and I go to it every day. Yep. And things that people put out are, you know, it's really helping me. And I'm like, okay, so thank you. If things that you put out are helping you, thank who you're going to help if you put something out. Yeah. The yeah. very next week she was on the page. That's definitely <laughs> true, Karen. You, you know, you, you had written in your little bio, there were six very important lessons. Is, mm. um, can you go over those? Because I thought they yeah. were pretty interesting and they fit well within the Strength of Purpose podcast and kind of our scope of, yeah. of, of what uh, our beliefs. and Very powerful. Very, very powerful. Very, very powerful when I read them, yeah. So, I mean, it's, I've, I've gone through a lot and it took a lot to come to this. <laughs> and I think through practice, I came to these mm. and I have to go back to them all the time when I get off track because, I mean, life is life and stuff happens yep. sometimes but my six important uh, lessons are um one my very first and most important one is find your tribe yep like recognize when people are toxic that was yeah. the next one i think was avoid yep. toxic people yep. um and find your tribe find the people that are gonna be your cheerleaders and who you can cheerlead for yeah and stick with them yeah, for um, sure. Yeah. Um, avoid toxic people. That was the second one. Celebrate my small moments. And that's what the page is all about. It's like, great. pick those small moments. You can have a really bad day. There's something you can celebrate. Yeah. And focus on that instead of the negative. Definitely. Never quit. Yeah. You know, I, mm. This is my fifth time going to a trainer. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I don't quit. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, I will always fight for what's important to me. Yep. Realize that failure only exists if you don't grow and um, learn from it and move forward from it. I love that and one. Know that people are put in your path for a reason. Mm. Yep. And you better pay, pay attention because it could be, it could be for a positive reason or it could be for a lesson. Mm. Sure. And that you need to kind of recognize it and pay attention. Wow. You don't learn so much. I mean, this is what I do. I've done since I was um, part of Flex Your Face. And my life has changed so dramatically. Yeah. I think Amazing. if you ask my kids, they'd probably tell you the same. <laughs> yeah. well, or I have boundaries now that I probably didn't have before. But, yeah. but it's just important. Those, those work for me. That, that makes yep. it so much more rewarding when when people you love and care about and people around you see that that change in you because it's so hard for us as individuals, no matter what we're trying to change in our lives, to see the type of progress that we've made when we're actively trying to make progress in a in a different part of our life. But when, like you said, your kids or grandkids or you know significant other, best friend, whoever it is, says, "Wow, like look at you! You're doing you, you're doing great with." with that thing that you're that you're working on it's yeah. it's powerful and it's going to inspire them to to work on their thing and improve their thing too yeah, yeah. Definitely. i just i just watched and we wrote a song for the page did you see that josh i did yeah <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> great we did a video and um i do the challenges and i and i put together little things that i give away because i just want to thank people for like showing up sure yeah. When am I going to be able to pick them out of a hat again? Um, <laughs> we got to pick a winner. One. I'm, I'm picking tomorrow because it's the first, but maybe okay. the next one. Yeah. Because that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was good. I like that. That's great. Yeah. No, it's, it's amazing. Um, that type of stuff, no matter how small it is, just has a huge impact. And then adding those little things like you're doing like little prizes and little giveaways and challenges that that stuff that people love that stuff. And uh, it'll keep them engaged. 
And um, yeah, I, I think I, I wouldn't be surprised if your page doesn't keep growing. I mean, I try yeah, to. I'm hoping. Yeah. I'm hoping it does because I've been to more people. That's more positivity that's thrown out into the world. And yeah, we definitely yeah. need it. Definitely. Oh yes, we do. So we had quite a time. <laughs> what was the what was the most recent challenge that you're that you're wrapping up right now? We're recording this in uh, the end of end of February. What was your what was your February challenge? Um, my February, and I have a hard time saying that month. I, I picked a bad month. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> February doesn't come out of my mouth. <laughs> um, it was it was affirmation month. So I challenge people to get up in the morning, set their intention and do a daily affirmation. And then mm. for anybody who was brave enough to engage on the live comments, um, I made a little notebook every day. I wrote down their affirmations. So I collected oh, cool. them. Um, I'll pick a name and I've got, I'm making this box a big one. There's lots of cool, fun stuff in it. Um, and I don't want to show it, but this, this, I just had these made. So this is going to be launched tomorrow. I'm going to give those away. Oh, cool. Um, awesome. I have, this is the cool thing. This is what it, this is when I know I'm doing the right thing is that when I went to go order these, um, if it was a friend of mine that works, her husband owns the place mm. and they didn't charge me for the art. They didn't charge me for the printing. Wow. She put $50 towards her own money for it. Wow. Oh, wow. I found a lady down in Florida that makes the little mugs. She gave me a break. Nice. I mean, so awesome. people that just tells me so much. And yeah. It just yep. It's just been crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You can't you can't you can't follow like the mainstream stuff because there's there's way more positivity in the world than than what is projected on either social, social media, media or in the media for sure for yeah. sure and phil and i see it in our own small circle like just the people that we reach definitely and that we have an impact on it's it you wouldn't really know sometimes you wouldn't even know that we're in kind of a weird time yeah because people are people still are like hey i want to get after it i want to get healthy i need to move without pain i want to you know mm. put this quote on karen's page you know like people are still they're still positive I, I i think i think we don't we don't look at it enough no i mean i think everybody and good outweighs bad always i think mm. yep and yep. you just have to look at things a little different and and open your eyes and see it it's right, right. Yeah. Us. yep exactly for sure yeah, I mean, I get I get some of the best engagement, Karen, on pictures I take of the sun with my coffee mug, you know, than I do yeah. on some of, some of my other stuff. You know, yeah. it's just a really cool picture, right. frozen ground, sunrise, steaming cup of coffee. You know, it's like this is how I'm starting my day. It's a beautiful day. I'm getting ready to, you know. I wish break. I thought of that. Yeah, <laughs> you, you can you can do that for your next. That's your that's your next post right there, Karen. You can. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, take, take you a should post like that, that on my page. That's cool. I will post that on your page. I promise. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's great. That's yeah, awesome. but uh, yeah, I mean, I get, I, I, I like. I mean, it's, it's amazing how much um, interaction you get on your on your pages too. I mean, every time I go on yours or, or something pops up, mm. you know, there's like five or six people commenting, and then there's like you know 30, 40 likes or whatever. It's uh, it's pretty awesome. It's, it's been really cool. Too. Yeah, And I think yeah. what helped me was that a lot of the people that I did flex your face with, some of the brand ambassadors came over. Mm -hmm. And I have one woman who has a, what, she's a teacher down in Rhode Island and she just has a huge friend base. And she just started click, 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 click. And people came. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. yeah. It was crazy. That's fantastic. Amazing. What what other, we're heading into, you know, we're, well, but when people are hearing this, it'll be right in the middle of March, what are you, what are you working on moving forward to, to help spread more, more positivity and, and improve this, this movement uh, w with your page in the, in the month yeah. of March? So the month of March, um, the challenge gonna, is going to be talk to me. I'm actually post that up after I get off here. Mm. Um, and I'm basically oh. going to pose a question and that hopefully engages conversation and how like um where is it someone gave me these cards the other day too i oh, came cool. into my work desk and there was a bag on it no name just a bag <laughs> i opened it up and it had these little affirmation cards and chocolate which is like 
Oh, nice. sorry, Josh. Chocolate. <laughs> yeah, they're beating they're beating you at your own game, Karen. That's a good yeah. sign. <laughs> so it's like um well it's funny. Okay. So it'll be something like this. I feel most in control when blank. What mm. actions am I currently taking to pave the way for a positive future? Oh, so wow. it, it will be cool. It will be questions like that. Wow. Yeah. And just, like, yeah, and just, just to get, yeah, just to get, to get more engagement, right? Just to get, yeah. you know, yeah, that's great. And what happens nine times out of 10, what happens is somebody will comment yep. and then somebody will, will say, either on the page or will message me wow i didn't even think about that yeah I can do that differently or i can do that differently sure and that's what i'm hoping comes yeah. out of march where that's i go fantastic. from there i don't know i won't know until probably mid-march what i'm gonna do in april sure but what the... i am definitely gonna do the challenges every month and mm. um and i'll give away whether it's a mug or a shirt or a, uh, something i'll give something away as a thank you sure that's awesome yeah that is great. Yeah. That's fantastic. That's amazing. Well, fantastic. Yeah. Um, is there anything else you want to uh, want to ask Phil, or you want to? Talk no, about? I mean, this is. Uh, I I, I uh, I'm excited because I just when when Josh uh, sort of virtually introduced us, Karen. I've been jumping on the page, yeah. so I'm I'm fairly new to the page, but I'm really excited to to uh, get involved now. I I mean, I I love I love the message, but. I'm also very uh, motivated by giveaways. So, you know, sure. <laughs> that's why I do the giveaways. But, you know, this is the problem is I thought this was going to be like a, a more female geared page. And I've got mm. a, a few males on there. And I'm like, yeah. crap, I'm going to have to come up with some male gifts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. That's you know. okay. I, mean, I, I have a wife. A yeah. Bit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We're, we've got, we, 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 we've got, we've got wives. We've got people we know that, that can, uh, can, can, you'll can have benefit. Some, you'll have that. some cool gifts to give if you want. <laughs> right exactly right. no that's that's awesome yeah. i i yeah that's i just so cool. I, the last thing i really want to say just thank you karen for for doing this because it uh like i said i i almost like chuckled to myself that i you know that you said you started this for a selfish reason and and it's the most selfless thing that right. that, that, that you can do but but yeah giving and helping others makes people like us feel so so good um yeah. to be, be to see other people feel good and be, be doing better in their life. And this is a message that, that everyone should be hearing. And I encourage everyone to go, go join team, find a reason on, on yeah. Facebook. That's great. Absolutely. Thank you Definitely. for having me. Of course. This was yeah. Fun. Yeah. Well, Karen, we have a couple of questions though, before we let you go. Okay. okay. First. Are you scared? <laughs> no. Be very scared. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, <laughs> because of the, uh, our podcast and, and, you know, and how, how our basic goal, um, we always ask everybody two questions. First is what is your definition of strength? Strength. My definition of strength is, is more internal. It's about being strong um, inside mentally, being able to to see yourself in a positive light, to enjoy where you are at the moment, no matter what part of your journey you're at. I just mm. was, somebody just posted a quote on my page today and I was like, wow, that spoke to me. Um, yeah. Because you can't go further until you're happy where you're at. Mm. And I think when you, when you can do that, you're strong. That's awesome. To me. Definitely. Yeah, we get, we get such awesome answers to that question <laughs> they're all a little bit different aren't they phil like yeah but they're yeah, all they're all so like fun. very similar in the yeah that's awesome that's mm -hmm. awesome i like that karen that's good um the second is what is your true purpose in life i think i'm a firm believer i was raised by somebody who did this and it's just who i am is to serve other people mm. um and yep. I've done it in all my jobs. I mean, mm. I, I worked in group homes. I ran group homes for 18 years. Um, I've done retail, which is service to other people. Sure. On sure. The lower. And now I found myself back into the medical field and mm. I, I work in thoracic, but I think we're all here to serve other people. And 
um, that being said, there are people here to help me. So sure. right. That's, that's yeah, that would be my answer. Yeah, awesome. what goes around comes around, right? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. you project positivity. So be careful what you put out there. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's very true. That's very true. <laughs> so we'll come back awesome. and bite you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we appreciate you coming on the show, Karen. It's well, awesome. Thank you for having me. You're, oh, anytime. You're a great person. I really enjoy training you. Even when you do complain, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, I haven't called you any bad names yet. That's probably no, you haven't. Hey, you if that's haven't. what if that's what if that's what gets her there and gets her through it, fire away, right, Karen? But, yeah. Thanks, Phil. Yeah. Give her some water. He has small children in the house, so I have to be careful. Right, right, right. right, right. right. That doesn't stop my lady strength class. Woo, man. Those ladies. Oh, that's true. Yeah, well, we're up there. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you. This has been such a pleasure. Um, thanks. You know, we really appreciate it. Um, so wrapping this up, if anybody wants to check us out, check out the podcast. We are on Facebook and Instagram at strength of purpose pod. If you want to watch it, you can check out our YouTube page, um, strength of purpose pod. Um, and you can go check out the show notes. If you want to know any information about Dr. Finnamore or myself, um, we really appreciate you, um, listening to the podcast. We hope you enjoy it. And we will, uh, we will see you uh, and you will hear from us next time. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Have a great one.